hi cuties so i'm starting off my weekend with a little organization a little purging i feel like i cannot keep my bathroom and like all of my products under control it just like gets so messy so i went through and i tried to purge some stuff i still could purge even further but i'll show you what i did so honestly most of the storage is mine so i kind of just like organized but like honestly look at all the products in there i really need to purge even further but i kind of organized there this is my bag of stuff that i'm getting rid of it's really heavy so i am getting rid of some stuff some stuff mac has this one drawer this is my hair drawer so i got rid of some stuff but like kept the products that i use so i've got that this is like where I put my makeup. I could still fill this roll a little bit, but again, it just like gets so messy. So I just need to figure out a better system. And then up here is like what I use like every day. So like tooth stuff, skincare. I really need to <laughs> sort through up here. Um, this is all like my acne medication in this little pouch. Anyways, it's much better than it was, but again, I need to work on purging. I just like have so many, I love beauty products and I buy so many and then I get sent stuff. So it just gets like out of control. So I'm probably going to do some more purging this weekend, but I just wanted to get a head start and just like feel like I did something before going into the weekend. This is another area that like really needs organization. This is like our medicine cabinet, but honestly the whole like linen cabinet needs to be organized but like especially this like how does it get like this i swear i organize it like every month and then it just gets crazy okay for dinner tonight we've got butter chicken doesn't that look so good and green beans and some rice so it is 9 p.m and i think i'm like getting ready for bed we had like a really really chill night we honestly just like mac was watching tv and i was watching below deck on my laptop we're gonna go to costco early tomorrow morning so i think i just yeah i think i just want an early night and i think it will like rejuvenate me i also had a nice shower so i'm like all warm and cozy so i think that that's gonna be the play for tonight Good night. Good morning. Just making myself a coffee to go because we're going to Costco, baby. So yes, I am not gonna stop at Starbucks to get a coffee. I'm gonna bring it from home because I'm trying to not spend a lot of money for the last three days of the month. So it's October 28th. And I've done pretty good with my spending this month. I think I'm just over 3,000 for the month, which is pretty good. Like I don't wanna near like the $4,000 range. And I've also been able to invest $3,000 this month already, which is like all I'm gonna invest, but it was because I got paid for a brand deal. So I'm very proud of that. Anyways, I'm just trying to keep my spending in check. So I've got my coffee to go. I say that as we are going to Costco and gonna spend like hundreds of dollars, but it's Costco, you know? And like we have like no food in our fridge. Like this is what our fridge looks like. So we need to eat, right? So anyways, Mac and I are gonna to go together. It is 9.38. We were actually gonna go when it opened at nine, but for some reason I had a really bad sleep last night. So when we woke up, I was like, I wanna sleep a bit longer. So we're a little bit later, but it should be fine. Terrible things started happening when you walked away. So that's why I say Costco haul. It was so busy at Costco. I don't know how we survived, but we got a pretty decent haul. We were not anticipating spending $400, but it was kind of necessary because we had like no food. So let's do the haul. First things first, dill pickle salad is a must. These are so good and they're even better at Costco. They have like cheese and seasoning in them, which they don't have a, like the regular Safeway version. So we got two of those. 
another must, rotisserie chicken. Now comes in a bag, hilarious. Okay, for meat, we got a pork shoulder butt. Don't ask me what a shoulder butt is, um, but I'm gonna make pulled pork in the slow cooker with this. And then we also got four, a four pack of ground turkey, because love ground turkey. Then we also got Parmesan petals, love that. And then for smoothies, we got frozen blueberries, which is Max's pick, and frozen strawberries, which is my pick. Okay, and then you're also on top of eggs, 60 eggs. We love eggs in this house, so it's really good to just have on hand. And then spaghetti, also another staple to have on hand. And then down here, some rice. That's our favorite rice to get. And then of course, toilet paper. Kirkland toilet paper is superior. And then we also got a six pack of pasta here. Another staple, another staple, Mr. Noodles. Okay, and then let me show you the other stuff that we got. I feel like we did really good. I'm really happy with that. Okay, bagels. Love everything sesame peppers. I love to do these like pepper, like sauteed peppers and onions. You get six of them, and it was like eight dollars, I think. We love these little potatoes, and we often get them from Safeway, but from Costco, this huge bag is like eight dollars. Oh, baby, scrub daddies. I force Mac to get these, even though we have two backups right now. I usually get them from Amazon, and they're like ten dollars each. And this one came with eight, and it was like 20 something dollars. So, PSA. I also got this sea salt grinder because I love Malden salt, but it's expensive. So I figured this was like a good alternative. I love this rice ramen. This is like for me, Mr. Noodles is for Mac. I just love them and it was on sale for like $8 maybe. I'm so excited about this. I've heard so many great things about this Japanese barbecue sauce. It's like very watery and I just, I was so excited when I saw it. Batchins. So I'm gonna try that ASAP. I got a three pack of tomato sauce just for some easy pasta. Another uh, Costco staple is the maple syrup. Another Costco staple, olive oil. Peanut butter. Mostly for Mac. Protein bars. That's all she wrote. I'm going to the gym. It's been months since I've gone to the gym, but I'm excited to get back into it. I need to get back into routine. I'm excited to move, but I'm a bit nervous of how it's gonna go, but we're doing it. All of my dreams seem so out of reach, your crystal clay. You know, Good morning. Coffee time. I tried to get up a little bit early this morning, or early-ish for Sunday, 9.35, just so that I could have a lot of time to do stuff on the weekend, you know? Enjoy the day. So, obviously, got to start with some coffee, if it will go. There we go. Okay, so I'm happy to report our fridge is now full. And that makes me very happy. And I'm going to do some food prep today. I actually already made the pulled pork in the slow cooker yesterday. So this is gonna be amazing. I'll leave the pulled pork recipe that I use in the description box. It's so easy and it's very delicious. So we've got that. And then I'm probably gonna prep some breakfast for myself for this week. So I've got these tortillas and then I'm just gonna do Swiss cheese and I have some turkey somewhere and I'm gonna try that out I'm gonna try out like not even doing eggs, but just doing like a very simple little Wrap to get me started, you know, and then I also I don't know what I'm gonna do for like work lunches But I did get some of these like little hummus cups 
for snacks. And then I also got some baby bells for snacks. I'm trying to set myself up. So I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna do for lunches this week, but I'm also probably gonna prep some of this turkey. What else is in here? Hmm, we'll see, but a couple of prep items to come. Maybe cut up those peppers so that they're easy. Okay, so I just prepped these little roll-ups for breakfast and I tried one and they were very good. So happy about that. And then I'm gonna do like a turkey soup or like a turkey stew. So I'm actually like browning the potatoes because I want like that caramelization, you know? So I've got one batch here and I already made one batch that's in the crock pot and I've already put some seasonings in there. And then I'm gonna use beef broth because I had that on hand. Then I'm going to cook up the turkey, put it in the slow cooker, and then I'm also gonna add some frozen peas, but probably like later, because I don't think they need to like cook with everything. I don't want them to get mushy. So we're gonna have a little turkey stew as well. And then I think I am gonna make turkey meatballs, but maybe a bit later after I go to the gym. Does anyone else's spice drawer look like this? Like this is, this is chaos. I really need to organize this. <laughs> oh, that's a project for another day. Hi cuties. So I'm about to go to the gym and I wanted to talk a little bit about my journey back to the gym or I guess the, the one time that I went to the gym <laughs> yesterday for the first time in probably like four-ish months. I think I'd have to really check, but I do want to put a little trigger warning that I am going to be talking about body image as it relates to going to the gym. So if it, this is not something that you want to hear about, um, I would just end, I would just exit out the vlog and this vlog is done for you. But um, if you're okay to hear about that topic, I wanted to share a little bit. So I really enjoyed running this summer as my exercise. I think, I mean, there was lots of reasons. Like I really just enjoyed like the endorphins that it gave me. I felt really good, like improving on something, working towards a goal, working towards like that race that I did. And overall, I just like had a really great time. And I realized going back to the gym yesterday that I was nervous to go back to the gym because at the gym, or at least at my gym, there's like mirrors everywhere. And that's good so that you can see your form when you're doing things. but. I think something that I struggle with is like perceiving myself and like being confronted with having to like look at my body while I'm exercising. And I'm really trying to like uncouple exercising and like the way that my body looks because I'm trying to exercise for things like other than the way that my body looks. Obviously, if my body looks like toned and strong, that's like a cherry on top. But as I've talked about on the vlog many times, I have a lot of like disordered body image and eating and like relationship with exercise in my past and I'm trying to forge a new path forward when it comes to exercise. So yesterday when I went to the gym, I think I, I realized in that moment that like I was really loving running outside because I wasn't looking at myself in the mirror, you know? I was just exercising and I was just feeling in my body like what exercising felt like but when I'm at the gym um, of course I could like not look at the mirror but um, it just is a different experience but what's really interesting is yesterday when I went to the gym when I looked at my body in the mirror and to be fair when I went into like the weights area that has mirrors I did put this hoodie back on like I didn't want to really perceive myself and that's like kind of sad but something that I'm like insecure about is like my arms and so I was just like I just want to do my weights like with my hoodie on but when I looked at myself in the mirror I guess I was like mainly looking at like my legs and then also like my face because then everything else was covered in this hoodie but I really liked the way that I looked and I could like just cry saying that because that doesn't happen very often and I think in that moment I realized like, man, I've been going to the gym, like I was super consistent for like a year and a bit and I wasn't, I was kind of hating the way that I looked. I was hating my body. 
which is like not something that I love to admit, but I'm just trying to be honest. Obviously, I'm really happy that I had an experience yesterday where I was like, damn, like I look good. Like I just like, I loved the way that my legs looked and my butt looked and I feel like my running journey probably just like made me feel quite like strong and toned. And, and also like there's, as women, I feel like we've been conditioned to want to be like as small as possible. And yesterday when I was looking at myself, I didn't see someone who was like, or I didn't, I wasn't looking at myself being like, man, I look really like tiny or like skinny. I was looking at myself being like, I look, I just loved the way that my body was looking. I felt like I looked very, again, strong and toned and like very womanly. And like, it wasn't because I was like, oh, I look thin. It was because I just, I just, I just liked what I saw in the mirror. And yeah, I want more of that, of course but I also just need to figure out how to, you know, exercise for, for my mental health, for my physical health, for, you know, longevity in life, all these different things other than like seeing results. But I don't know. I mean, I guess that's part of it. Like, of course I want to like, I want my body to look a certain way for me, you know, like I've got my body when I'm like not exercising and not eating well. And then I have my body where I'm exercising and eating well. And obviously I like the look of this one better. And I don't think that I should feel like ashamed for that. I don't think you should feel ashamed for that. But I also want to get away from like calorie counting. Like I'm not counting calories with food, but when I'm at the gym and I have my Apple watch on, I am like keeping an eye on how many calories I'm burning just to like signify how kind of like intense a workout is but I kind of want to get rid of that. Like I kind of want to, even I saw myself doing that yesterday where I was like, okay, hey, I'm going to like try and hit like 300 calories burned. And then once I hit that, I was like, okay, I'm good to go home. But I want to do a lot more strength training and that like burns less calories and I need to be okay with, maybe I'm like not even tracking it. I don't know. I tracking the workouts like does help me and motivates me. I like seeing how frequently I went and like, I just, maybe I need to figure out like a different system for myself, but coming back into the gym for like this next, you know, fall winter season, I think there's just a lot of things I want to work on. One, I want to do a lot more strength training because last season or last year I did a lot of cardio and that's how I like fell in love with running, but I really want to do strength training and I want to prioritize that and just make sure that that's like my focus because I know that that's what my body needs right now. And that's what I'm just craving to like get into and to learn more about and to learn more about my body. I want to, um, you know, stop obsessing over how many calories I'm burning. That kind of goes hand in hand. Like if I'm doing more strength training, then like I'm not going to be burning that many calories in my session. Um, and then I also want to learn to like love myself and love my body regardless of what it looks like. And that is really hard. But I just wanted to share, I just wanted to be open because I know that this is something that a lot of you struggle with as well. Anytime I've ever talked about this, people have thanked me for like opening up and you know, the journey is long and I'm still like going through it, but I'm very proud of myself for like getting back to the gym. I'm ecstatic that I thought that I looked good yesterday. You know, I literally wore that I'm wearing the same outfit to the gym today because I was like, that worked for me. So anyways, I'm going to go to the gym. I'm going to have a good workout. I'm going to focus on some strength training and I'm going to celebrate my win that I've like gotten back into the gym. I'm like aware of the things that I want to work on and I'm going to work on them. So if you're also kind of like going through like a fitness journey or a health journey, it's not easy. Honestly, like it would be really helpful for me to probably hire like a dietitian or and or personal trainer. I mean, those are like two separate professions, but if I had like all the money in the world, I would for sure like build a team for myself, but that's just not really realistic. You know, I just like can't, I could spend the money on that, but I just don't think that it's what I sh like, what I really need to be spending money on. I mean, I'd honestly rather just like up my therapy and like talk to her about it. Anyways, this was very rambly, but just wanted to share that. I'll share more moving forward. Please let me know in the comments if this is something that you want to hear more about. Again, I really don't want to trigger anyone. And I also want to talk about it only if it's kind of like helpful for you. I really don't want to be someone that like, you know, talks about this constantly, even though sometimes in my head, that's where my thoughts are all the time. 
which I want to work on. Anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here because I'm going to go to the gym, take my time, and then I'm going to talk to my mom on the phone, do a little bit more like meal prep and just get ready for the week. And then I will be back on the vlogs tomorrow. So thank you for watching this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it. Um, it was like a really nice reset and you know, we're going into fall winter i guess we're like in the middle of fall we're like kind of we're getting ready for winter we're trying to figure out our routine for winter and i just don't want to be like sad this winter <laughs> i want to try and figure out a way which includes exercise to not be sad so hopefully you'll come along this journey with me and thank you for watching bye